Hi everyone, a very very happy Valentine's to one and all and this vlog named as Meaningful Marriages is on a special note on this Valentine. So what is this meaningful marriage about? First point, a marriage is a very very beautiful and sacred phenomena but when done with some amount of sense, some amount of maturity, some amount of spine and some amount of awareness or consciousness. Companionship is needed by each life form in one way or the other to evolve, to learn, to grow. Now, when we talk about marriages or meaningful marriages, what does it mean? What it means is that marriage, making people come together for companionship is phenomenal, fantastic, fabulous, very much required because any companionship, any relationship which gives love, compassion, freedom for both of the people in the marriage or in the relationship will help each other become more aware, conscious, better, more skilled, make them stronger emotionally, mentally, psychologically and physically. So these aspects, these perceptions, these beliefs, these approaches is going to make a marriage a beautiful phenomenon. But now what usually happens is we get married because we think we are supposed to. Why? Because there is an age clock ticking, which has nothing to do with any relationship, any companionship. It has nothing to do with the concept of marriage. What next? We get married because we want to rear a child. Rearing a child is an existential phenomena. It has nothing to do with marriage again. Then we get married because the third person singular living in our society accepts us having fun at night or having fun in the afternoon or having fun with someone else in whatever way we want. And we get married because the third person singular whom we are never going to meet, with whom we don't have any reference or context in any way, should view us in a healthy way. This is too childish and too pathetic. Then what? We get married because we don't have anything else to do. What do we do apart from getting married? Then what? We get married because I think that's the only thing which is left in our life. It is a milestone. It is necessary. We should get all the accountabilities and responsibilities and what not goes around the bush. All these aspects, parameters, perceptions and beliefs and approaches is going to make marriage go down the drain to such a deep, deep level that it is never going to come up. So, here we need to ensure, we need to self-observe, we need to self-reflect that when we are getting married, we want to get married with the sacred phenomena where a lot of freedom is given. You accept and you allow the person you are being with in a marriage to grow with you by you, from you. You give love because you have love within you to share. Here we don't want you to become a victim. Here we want you to become a master of your marriage, a master of your core connections, of your core companionships. Here we want to make marriage more sensible where you learn, you grow, you evolve, you become better. It should not be because you want to rear a child. The only pleasure you have is sex. You don't have anything else to do. You don't know rather anything else. Here all these things are not going to help you. Why? Because these things are very very narrow in reference of the existential process and phenomena of any life form. The life form is, the phenomena is, the aspect or the objective, the parameter to be achieved, lived or experienced is to become better, to learn, to grow, to evolve, 
to become more aware, to become more conscious, to know, to understand your own selves through all of these things. But then, that is not happening. A lot of people have to get married because they are irresponsible. So let me tell you that a lot of people believe that marriage is a responsibility. No, it is a responsibility because basically you are irresponsible. People who are responsible do not need any stamp, any status or any name to fulfill their responsibilities. People who are responsible, they are responsible by choice. They are mindfully responsible. They don't need a title to ensure and enforce fulfillment of their responsibility. Make marriage meaningful. Make this Valentine a little more sensible than what you have been doing till now. Take care. Peace.